hyena cubs that are being so incredibly sweet. One is finished with its breakfast for the morning and is now lying on its back, legs in the air, trying to snap at flies that are hanging around, Mum. Oh, we're up again. Is it time to try and go for some more breakfast or are you just going to climb on Mum? Not very successfully, I might add. Oh, shame, and the fly's biting you, little one. They're all stable flies. And I know exactly what that feels like. It's so itchy when they initially bite you. Shame. Michael, you want to know if they're old enough now to properly determine the sexes. It is a tricky, tricky thing. Um, you have to really closely examine their genitals, ideally when they're interacting with each other, because that's when you can see them slightly more clearly. Um, particularly, look, you can see the little spots. Um, and particularly when they're interacting with other members of the clan, so that you have a chance to see exactly the, sh the rough shape of the genitals themselves. Yes, they're old enough to try and determine. However, we could so easily make a mistake that I'm hesitant to do it. I really am. You can also watch their behavior towards each other. And so far, they're sort of playing with each other. The one on top seems to be slightly more dominant than the one below. But to be completely honest with you, it's such a risk. And as we've recently seen, sometimes a case of mistaken hyena sexing does occur. Ask Ribbon all about it. Roll over. You just want to go and rub that stomach. Not that I ever would, of course, because I actually quite like having all my fingers. I prefer not to have them chomped by a little hyena cub. So I'm hesitant to try and sex them right now. And good morning to Kate, who would like to know how many cubs does a hyena usually have. Maximum two, uh, quite often one but generally we've seen that they seem to be able to produce two healthy cubs within this clan. It depends, oh, getting so brave. Oh, that was very Cape Tonian. Getting so brave, wandering out into the grasses. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> um, it depends very much. I think actually a lot of the time when we see just one hyena cub, it's because the second has died during the birthing process because it's actually really difficult for female hyena to give birth and often for first-time mothers they don't manage it quite it's quite common for them to lose both cubs during the labor process because it just takes too long with their somewhat modified genitalia look at you you're so cute um but usually you see hyena cubs with two they have two nipples and therefore accommodate two cubs there's also, I'm, I'm not going to go into great depth, we've spoken about it quite a lot, but there's also a, a, an idea that's been put forward that originally basically came from one article, that siblicide is exceptionally common in hyenas, and that if two cubs are born of the same sex, they will kill each other before one of them will kill the other, before they come out of the den. There's a lot of researchers that are now pushing to actually disprove that it's as common as we think. I'm sure it does happen, but it's relatively uncommon. It's also relatively common for hyenas to, not relatively common, sorry, it also does occur that other members, other females of a hyena clan could kill the cubs of another one, particularly a low-ranking female, if they get to be overly rough with their own cubs. Pink patches of skin on its armpits. <laughs> 